How quickly can HIV be transmitted? Human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, continues to be a global health concern, with millions of new infections reported each year. Understanding how quickly HIV can be transmitted is crucial for implementing effective prevention strategies. This video explores the various factors influencing the speed of HIV transmission and highlights preventive measures to reduce its spread. 1. Exposure to infected body fluids. HIV is primarily transmitted through contact with specific bodily fluids, including blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. Direct exposure to these fluids increases the risk of transmission. 2. Mode of transmission. The mode of transmission plays a significant role in the speed of HIV transmission. Unprotected sexual intercourse, sharing contaminated needles, and mother-to-child transmission during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding are common modes of transmission. 3. Viral load. Individuals with untreated or poorly managed HIV often have higher viral loads, making them more infectious. Higher levels of the virus in bodily fluids increase the likelihood of transmission during sexual activity or exposure to infected blood. 4. Type of exposure. Certain activities carry a higher risk of HIV transmission than others. Receptive anal intercourse poses the highest risk, followed by receptive vaginal intercourse and insertive anal intercourse. Although oral sex carries a lower risk, transmission is still possible. 5. Presence of other STIs. Co-infection with other sexually transmitted infections, STIs, can increase the risk of HIV transmission. Infections that cause inflammation or lesions create easier entry points for the virus, heightening the risk of transmission. 6. Use of protective measures. Consistent and correct use of condoms, dental dams, and other barrier methods during sexual activity significantly reduce the risk of HIV transmission. Clean needle programs and proper sterilization techniques for medical equipment are crucial for preventing transmission through sharing needles. 7. Immediate risks. In certain situations, such as needle stick injuries in healthcare settings or accidents involving exposure to infected blood, transmission can occur almost immediately if the virus enters the bloodstream. 8. Post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, prompt administration of PEP, a preventive treatment given after potential exposure to HIV, can significantly reduce the risk of transmission if initiated within 72 hours, preferably within 36 hours, of exposure. Understanding the factors influencing the speed of HIV transmission is essential for developing effective prevention strategies. By promoting safer sex practices, providing access to preventive measures, and ensuring timely medical interventions such as PEP, we can significantly reduce the spread of HIV and work towards ending the epidemic. Public awareness, education, and comprehensive healthcare services are key components in the fight against HIV-AIDS.